Once this was a vast peat swamp forest with trees up to 50 meters high. But drainage of the swamp for logging and agriculture is turning the area into one big wasteland. This used to be a very good and nice peat swamp forest and turned into nightmares. The soil of this area consists of meters deep peat, dead plant material accumulated over thousands of years. When the peat swamp is drained, the carbon reacts with the oxygen from the air and becomes carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas that contributes to climate change. Thousands of annual fires in the dried up area increase the CO2 output even more. The greenhouse gas production of Indonesia's peatlands equals 8% of the total global fossil fuel emissions. An alarming climate problem. But there is hope. Here in central Kalimantan, we have a very successful project. We restored about uh, 50,000 hectares of degraded peatland. And as a result of this, we managed to reduce about 4 million ton uh, carbon dioxide emission per year. But this is still a long way to go because what we have done is only half percent from the total degraded peatland that need to be restored. The drained peatlands have to be rewetted to halt the peat loss. To that effect, here in central Kalimantan, already 25 large dams and hundreds of smaller ones have been built in the drainage and logging canals. The work has been done by local communities that increasingly support the work. At first time, uh, it's very hard for us to convince them to do uh, to build the dam because uh, you know the ma major canal system they use is for transportation of wood and uh, non-timber forest product. Uh, eventually, we successful to convince them to do that because uh, they see that uh, positive uh, impact of the building dam. Dulu kanal ini kami pakai untuk transportasi mengambil hasil hutan seperti kayu atau gemur. Tapi awalnya kami dulu tidak tahu fungsi hasil tabat ini. Tapi sekarang setelah kami ikut membangun tabat, kami tahu hasilnya. Climate change is a global problem, but poor people have different daily problems. The project therefore aims to provide economic alternatives. It provides commercial crops that thrive in non-drained swamp areas. This will decrease the need for massive logging. Together with local people, now we are planting uh, jelutung, po chewing gum, rubber, and other valuable species where they can source of living for them. So now everyone has a good reason to keep its soil into good condition. We call this jelutung where people can take uh, rubbers of it or latex of it and this uh, gelatin is a uh, base material for chewing gum. Ini uh, hasil pes sadap. Hasil sadap karet. Uh, pertama kita akan nyadap karet. Nah, setelah sadap karet ini dijadikan jadi karetnya gitu. Itu banyak untuk sandal-sandal itu buknya yang jenis berupa karet, uh, jenis karet seperti ini, sandal ini. Besides drainage and logging, peat fires are also devastating to the area. These cause huge amounts of carbon dioxide emissions as well as health problems. Every year in the dry season, the fires occur in the drained areas. Rewetting will reduce them. Go, go, go. In addition, the project developed satellite fire monitoring. It has established fire brigades in 25 villages. Uh, these people are trained to uh, be firemen, uh, the fire brigades in this area. So they are trained by the CKPP project, the Central Kalimantan Peatland Project, uh, to keep this area uh, free from fire. In this area, we have developed a 75 fire uh, deep well for supplying uh, water to su suppress the fire. Restoration of peatlands is crucial to the global climate, to the people that live in these areas and to the preservation of its very rich biodiversity. Until now, the project managed by Wetlands International restored 50,000 hectares, which by itself yearly prevents some 4 million tons of CO2 emissions. But this is just a start. 
another 12 million hectares in Indonesia, an area the size of Java, is in urgent need of restoration. Restoration uh, peatland has been proven as the most effective way to reduce CO2 emission. But there are still a large area and about 90-90% need to be restored. Therefore, we need international community to help us financially to restore all this huge degraded area.